For a long time now, here in the U.S., any accusation that Israel is a racist or apartheid state has resulted in outrage and immediate accusations of anti-Semitism and an irrational hatred of Israel. When Democratic Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal in July called Israel a racist state, she had to quickly apologize and withdraw that remark. And the House of Representatives responded by passing a resolution insisting Israel is not a racist or apartheid state. And it passed by 412 votes to nine. And yet, Israel's own ministers, members of perhaps the most far-right government in that country's history, don't seem to have gotten the memo. They just keep saying the quiet part out loud again and again. Late last month, for example, you had Itamar Ben-Gavir, the national security minister who has himself in the past been convicted for inciting racism and supporting a terrorist organization, go on national television on Israel's Channel 12 and say this. Sorry, Mohammed. Mohammed being Mohammed Magadli, the only Palestinian on the panel that night. Then you had the heritage minister, Amechai Eliyahu, go on Israeli news site Ynet to deny accusations of apartheid by appearing to compare the occupied West Bank to a prison. ברגע שבן אדם מאיים על הזכות שלי לחיות, אני מצמצם מעט את זכויות האזרח שלו, ומאפשר לאדם הנורמטיבי להמשיך להתנהג. מצמצם במעט, קוראים לזה אפרטהייד, אני חושב, במילון, אבל לא יודע, אולי נבדוק בוויקיפדיה. בית כלא זה אפרטהייד? בית כלא זה אפרטהייד? זה בית כלא, אתה נמצא בשטחים, על מה אתה מדבר? אז רגע, בוא נגדיר את יהודה ושומרון כבית כלא. יהודה ושומרון זה כלא? שנדע. כשאתה הולך לבית כלא ואתה שם שם אסיר, אתה מצמצם את הזכויות שלו? זה אפרטהייד? All of the Palestinians living in the West Bank are prisoners of Israel? Perhaps not the defense of Israel's behavior that he thinks it is. And then you have Israel's own tourism minister, Haim Katz, openly saying he doesn't want Israel to join the U.S. visa waiver program because it'll bring in an influx of unwanted Palestinians, Palestinian Americans, into the country. People the tourism minister wants to keep out because they're Palestinian. And yet, as I said, our politicians, our elected members of Congress here in the U.S. are bent on convincing us that Israel isn't guilty of apartheid or racism against the Palestinians. And anyone who says otherwise is being anti-Semitic. So a word of advice for them. The next time they want to take a vote on this issue, perhaps they should listen to Israel's own ministers first. <laughs> 